Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 12, verse 54 through 56. Jesus is speaking. Then he also said to the multitudes, Whenever you see a cloud rising out of the west, immediately you say, A shower is coming, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, There will be hot weather, and there is. Hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it you do not discern this time? Well, that's a pretty interesting word from Jesus. You can look at the signs. You can see, uh, like today we have instruments. You know, I've got a wreck a thing on my phone that will tell me, is the barometer rising or is the barometer falling? When the barometer is falling, that's, that's basically always a sign that there's a storm coming. So I can look and see, you know, what's going on with the weather. I can read those things. I can say, oh, the barometer is dropping very rapidly. I think there's a storm coming in. Let's prepare for that. Jesus says there are people that see the signs. They see the signs out there, here and there. They see the signs, and yet, guess what? They are not uh, able to discern the time. They don't understand spiritually what's happening right around them. They are oblivious. They cannot see that the spiritually the barometer is going like that, okay? They can't see that. And so they don't realize that we are on the verge of, of a civilizational shift, a vast shift, even a moral collapse, and actually the literal intervention of Jesus, the second coming of Jesus. Some people are don't, don't even begin to get that. But you and I can see it, can't we? Can't we? Let's make sure we can see that. And let's make sure that we do what we need to do to just give our heart to Jesus day by day and be ready for these intense things that are coming. These things aren't to scare us. But God can use, bring good out of the situation by drawing our hearts closer and closer to his. And he's going to do that. And soon we'll be past this, we'll be in the kingdom, we'll be down the road millions of years, and we'll be in a very good place. But right now, every heart is going to be tested. Let's pray about that. Father in heaven, do we discern the time? Do we realize how late it is in the hour? I'm not sure that we do. So please help us, Lord to be alert, awake, ready, make preparations for the things of intensity, and not to be nervous, but to trust fully in Jesus. This we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May his blessings be with you today.